Hi, this is Murph. In this video, I will show you how to extend a Linux partition. Uh, for example, uh, I have a VM uh, running on my uh, VMware uh, Fusion instance, and I have a, um, I, as you see here, I have a slash var with 69% in use. So I like to extend this uh, partition uh, by adding more space uh, to the disk. So uh, to do that, first I'm going to turn off this VM because in uh, in VMware Fusion you cannot add more space or extend a disk, virtual disk uh, on the VM while the VM is running. But in ESX server uh, you can do that. So uh, so I'm just going to show you in the VMware Fusion. So I have to turn it off first. So as you see, I have 15 gigabyte already assigned to this virtual disk on this VM, which has the only disk uh, on this on this VM and uh, I cannot uh, add more space to it while the VM is running so I have to turn it off okay so it's turned off so I'm just gonna go to the uh, disk setting here. You can do the same thing with VirtualBox, you know, power of the VM and add a more disk in the VirtualBox. Uh, should be a uh, similar um, concept. So I'm gonna go to hard disk. Now I can increase. So I'm gonna give, uh, make it 20 gigabyte. Okay, so, so the VMware side of things are good now. So now we have to make this, uh, you know, extend it on the inside the operating system. So close this VM, part on. Okay. Let's see if I can make it bigger. Okay, so I'm going to log in as root, or you can use your sudo account if you want, similar concept. So I'm just going to do fdisk l dev sda, so that's my disk. So now you see it's 21.5 gigabyte is showing, um, so I'm just going to now go to fdisk. Okay, so you can see here already, you know. So yeah, I, I, it's a lot. It's I'm using a lot of LVM, logical volume manager, for my partitions. So uh, that makes it easier to extend uh, uh, my partition when I need to be. Uh, so I'm just gonna go. You can uh, put press M if you haven't used FTS before. Uh, you know, you can just you know log in there and just put M, and they'll give you a lot of help. So so we're gonna create a uh, since I'm gonna be using it for. Um, logical volume, I'm just going to go and create a first uh, create a partition, so which is N, and it will be a primary partition, and I'm going to make it uh, partition number three because I have uh, two partition already, and now it's uh, recommending that you know I start uh, my first cylinder is 1959, so that's fine, let's choose default, and here I can use the last cylinder on the on the uh, partition on the disk, so that should be fine because you know I'm just extending, so it's just uh, smart enough to tell me uh, the last cylinder. So you can you can specify size or uh, if you do plus, you know plus size, you know the size, you know one gigabyte, you can do all that. Okay, I'm just gonna keep it default, and now I'm gonna do print p. So as you see here, I have a third partition now, which is uh, you know slash dev slash sda3. Now I'm going to change the type. So by default, it made it as a Linux partition. So I'm going to make it a LVM, Linux LVM partition. We just type ID 8E. I press T. 
and that's for changing the type of partition. So I'm gonna select three. That's the one I'm gonna modify. And then I'm gonna say eight. You can list the hex code here. So you can see, you know, different partition have different hex code. But uh, in this case, I'm gonna use eight e, which is uh, uh, the um, logical volume. So I'm gonna say eight e. Okay. I'm gonna do a print. So as you see, it's changed uh, Linux LVM. Now we just have to write the change. Okay. So it will it 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 uh, updated the partition information, but it say you know I need reboot, so I'm just gonna reboot. Uh, machine. If you are adding a new disk as a separate disk, instead of uh, extending the existing virtual disk, then you don't have to reboot uh, like uh, like I did here. Uh, but you know, in this case, it's prefer to reboot just to make sure nothing is corrupted. Now I'll have a separate video where I will uh, show you how to add a uh, you know additional disk and do it in live without you know, reporting. So I like to watch how it boots. Okay, so I'm gonna make it bigger a little bit for you to see. You can do the same thing on Red Hat or any, uh, I believe uh, all the other Linux distros should work as well. Similarly, if you have to have disk and uh, logical volume manager, uh, should be similar. So if I do df-h, I still don't have the uh, additional capacity uh, assigned here. Um, so as you see, the uh, slash var directory is on the, uh, um, you know, it's this, uh, you know, still 610% and it's a logical volume, uh, right? So if we do a uh, VG display, there's a volume group, you can see the volume group setting. So there is no uh, free space or, you know, you can see how much space does it have. Still have 14.51 gigabytes. So to add more space to the slash var uh, partition, we have to add this additional capacity um, uh, to this volume group, and then we can assign to the logical volume, which is the slash bar, right? So uh, if you do a LV display, um, it'll show you the uh, the logical volume. Um, just do it page by page. So you see now I have my root, and I have my swap, and I have my, uh, uh, what is it, this one? This is the uh, slash bar. So LV underscore bar is the... Uh, you know, this one is the portrait. This is still has LV size 3.91, okay? So, uh, before we do that, uh, let's uh, create a, a physical physical volume, okay? That's the first step to volume when you have a disk, okay? That's called TV display. We'll show you what you have right now. That's what you have only a slash DF uh, SDA2 as the physical volume. So we're going to add another one, the slash DF SDA3 as the uh, physical volume. Okay, so uh, to do that, we use the command called pv create, and we're gonna give it the name. Okay, we're gonna say vg. Uh, we're gonna use the same uh, volume group. So, so our volume group is before we do that uh, vg display. Okay, we're gonna add this physical volume to our volume group that we have, which is vg underscore. Uh, center as best, right? So that's the volume group that is holding all this logical volume and the physical We want to add the new disk into this volume group. So to do that uh, you do PV create and we're gonna do VG Cento as base and we're gonna assign the disk which is uh, slash DF SDA 3, okay? Okay, so it is done um, You know there uh, but it's successfully created. Okay, so if we do a PV uh, PV display, we should see the dev as DA3. I'm gonna okay. Um, okay, this 4.99 uh, 
you know, gigabyte and uh, the other one is still there, okay? So now we're gonna do a VG display. Okay, we still don't have uh, the additional capacity, okay? If we do VGS, right, we still don't have the, it shows you kind of quickly how much uh, your volume groups hold and how much it's free right now. Okay, so now we have to uh, extend the volume group so that, you know, it sees the new disk. So to do that, you basically do VG extend and same name, VG CentOS base. So we're gonna use this new physical volume now. Uh, this is equal to this volume group, okay? So I'm gonna do dev sda3, okay? Okay, so it's been successfully extended. So if I do a VGS now, Okay, you can look it up what VGS does, but VGS basically is going to summary what you have, you know. So now I have 4.99 gigabyte free, okay, which I can assign to my uh, to my volume group, uh, to logical volumes actually, okay. So now that I have the, uh, you know, this is the DF minus F, just to make sure that, you know, we have the bar still at 69%. So now I'm going to do a uh, logical volume extent. So... The logical volume that we're going to extend is LV underscore word. That's our logical volume, right? Um, so uh, you can do, uh, you know, different ways uh, here. So in this case, uh, you know, I can uh, do a four point nine nine gigabyte free. So let me try that. Okay. So I'm just going to do. Uh, VG, uh, sorry, LV extend, which is logical volume extend, uh, and I'm gonna do capital L, and I'm gonna do plus. So we're gonna add 4.99 gigabyte, okay? Let's do 4.99 G, and that should be under dev. Uh, VG CentOS volume group name and then LV bar. Let's try that. Sometimes it may not exactly allow you. To, okay, yeah, that's good. It's done. Resize done. So if I do a VGS, I don't have any free. Okay, V free is zero, right? So I got the uh, logical volume extent. So now I'm going to do a LV display. Okay, if you look at the LV underscore var, you see that it is now 8.9990 gigabyte, right? Instead of the uh, four or something, I think I had three or four or something. Okay, now if I do a df minus h, I shouldn't still see uh, more extents. It's still same, right? It's because uh, uh, the partition needs to be uh, you know resized, right? So uh, that that uh, once you assign that is to the logical volume, now I can use the file system command the uh, resize. Uh, I think the resize two fs. Uh, command uh, to extend the partition, right? Uh, so to do that, I just do resize. When you do this, you have to, uh, if it's a very heavily used uh, partition that is really busy all the time, then uh, you may have some issues, but if it's no less busy, you know that for sure, you know, uh, then it's a good time, you can do it uh, on the line, like while it's online, but other than that, you could do it uh, on a single user mode and then do that way. But let's do resize to fs dash p and we're gonna use dev mapper that's the exact uh, uh, path of this uh, file system bar okay so what it'll do it'll resize it automatically to max okay okay now it's doing it voila so now let's do uh, oh there you go so we have now bar extended, uh, and now it's like 30 percent in use. So I have more space to use. So that's how it is uh, to extend uh, a uh, a partition that is using logical volume uh, by extending a disk that is already in use. So uh, I'll do a separate video where I will add a second disk and then do it all live once it's powered on. Uh, uh, you know, do all the uh, F disk and all that uh, live. Okay. So that's about it. Thank you for watching.